In this lecture, we can see how we can perform parallel test execution of Cypress test and also how we can see those parallel test execution happening in the Cypress cloud with the power of the GitHub action and with the power of Cypress cloud. So in order to perform the parallel execution, all we have to do is we have to use the hyphen hyphen parallel flag in our Cypress test runner command. And also we need to make modification in the GitHub workflow. So I'm going to do both of them together by going to our code over here. And you remember for performing the parallel execution, all I have to do is I have to use this hyphen hyphen parallel keyword. That's it. This is the parameter that I have to pass in the run command over here. And not only that, we then have to go to the GitHub actions file and then add the matrix so that we can run the test in multiple different builds. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the nodejs.yaml file over here and I'm going to use the strategies to run all the commands in parallel. So this is the way that I can actually do that. So I'm going to say the fail fast as false because that is not going to fail on the matrix. And I'm also going to run in multiple different containers. So I'm running in five different containers, same time. I mean, this whole operation, same time. And we're going to see the result coming up for us. So we have built quite a big workflow already. I will see how that is actually going to work. So I'm going to check in this code and I'm going to go to the GitHub action. So you can see that we have two files. So I'm going to say parallel execution support. And I'm going to commit this to main, push this to origin. I'm going to first fetch it and pull origin and push the origin. And if we now go back to our browser and now if I go to GitHub actions, this time you will see that our test execution is going to happen in five different builds as you can see over here and they're all running in parallel within Cypress. So you can see that even though they are running in five different machines like five different containers in the Ubuntu, they are going to be pointing to the same Cypress cloud and because we have given the hyphen hyphen parallel flag the Cypress cloud knows that it is all pointing to one single test execution. So the report which is going to be generated over here is going to include all the status over here. So I will show you what I really mean once we get to see the reports of the test execution. So now you can see that there is a test execution happening and it is running the network interception test initially instead of running the API test. And the reason why is because maybe the API test is already taken care in another build which is happening over here. So if I go to the Cypress cloud over here and if I go to the latest run and you will see that this is the execution currently happening. And you will notice that we are actually running the third test over here. But if you go to the spec this time, you'll notice that we are running seven specs on five different machines. Essentially, they are running in parallel this time, not in one machine. Rather, they are running in five machine. And also, Cypress Cloud is telling us that good job. You have reduced the group runtime by over two minutes by parallelizing your test in five machines. So Cypress Cloud already knows that we are running tests in parallel. And also, it tells us that this is how we have actually reduced it, which is great. It also shows us that this is the actual test execution that is happening behind the scene. And we can go and hit this machine tab over here, which will tell us that the first machine actually executed this first spec and this machine two executed the second spec. Machine three actually executed this third spec and probably the fourth spec. And the fourth machine is doing this and fifth machine is doing this and this. So it's showing all these tests for us over here. So that is the way that we can actually see that the test executions are really happening behind the scene. And you will notice that I guess the test execution is completed over there. And we also have a nice Cypress report, which is again going to be coming up from the artifacts that we have uploaded. And at the same time, you notice that the execution is completed for us, even though it is failed, at least the execution is running in parallel. So if I go back to the code once again, and if I go and see the check, you see that the same behavior comes through for this as well over here, but it's showing us for build one, two, three, four, and five, because they're running in five different containers. And 
you will notice that the whole execution is now coming through for us over here. So there is not multiple different reports here. It's just one single report, but it is showing us that they are running in parallel. So the parallelization is 100% over here. But you'll also notice that the spec prioritization as well as the auto cancellation are not applied because they are basically the paid plan that we have to upgrade through so that we can do all sort of things over here so i'm not going to show that because i don't really have a paid plan but at least you got the idea of how that we can see all these test executions are happening and you can also filter the search result based on the machine that you're running the browser that you're running the run groups and the spec files and stuff so all these things you can do it from here that's about the actual integration of the cypress cloud along with github as well as the github actions workflow so all these things are coming through for us using the ci cd pipelines as well that's about this particular whole section and hope you have got the idea of how you can integrate the whole test with github actions cypress cloud and github itself thank you